uh, if you want to move this machine, we should uh, throw down this extra tube into the ground. And this switch can lock down automat automatically and then we can hold this machine like this. Okay. Firstly, let me introduce you about this uh, extra machine movement. Firstly, uh, we should uh, press the foot breaker into the like this and then this machine can be moved forward and back. And, uh, we uh, put the foot brake uh, and this and uh, this machine is fixed. Okay. Uh, next, I will tell you about the movement of the arm. <coughs> Firstly, uh, it has a switch like this. In this side, uh, we should uh, press aside like uh, this one and then the. Next, uh, you can rest up uh, like this, okay, and to the suitable height, okay, like this. <coughs> and uh, the extra tube is also can be rotation. There is a handle like this one. We should uh, press like this. Then this extra tube can be moved in like nine, 90 degree and uh, the same on the this side 90 degree. Okay. And uh, this is fixed like this. <coughs> this extra tube is also can be rotate, rotated like this one. And uh, we can use the flat panel to uh, do the special radiography. Okay. The kinematic is also can be Rotated in 19 degree in the both side like this one. Uh, this is the main movement of this machine. Next, uh, I will tell you something about uh, the machine explosion. Okay, as you see, there are. Uh, three circuits in this panel. This uh, this one is connected to the main power of this machine, and uh, this one is connected to the X-ray tube, and uh, this one is connected to the handheld uh, hand switch. Okay. Uh, first, let's install this main power uh, main power uh, uh, wire. Uh, please, uh, you should uh, pay attention to the. Uh, right direction because there is uh, grooves in uh, in this uh, plugs so uh, we should uh, put it in the right direction we should press into and then screw up also it's the same like this this the hand switch we should uh, use in the right direction and uh, then Machine to and screw up. The same as the this plugs is there are three there is three grooves like this and uh, you should uh, put it into in this side like this one. Uh, okay, then press into and uh, lock up. Okay, it's finished. Next, I will tell you how to start up this machine. Firstly, uh, we can see the air switch. We should uh, push aside to the on, and uh, then <coughs> we go to the uh, operation table. There is two buttons. It is the on and it is off, and we press it, and uh, this machine is start up. <coughs> now we can see the temperature, like this, is used to the heat protection. Uh, and uh, if we want to uh, exposure, then we press the enter, and we can see the kilowatt MAS, and we can adjust this 
parameter like up, down, uh, like this one. <coughs> uh, this number zero one means that we uh, just need to record uh, only one time the parameter data, and uh, next time uh, we should should not uh, adjust the kilo uh, kilowatts the MS again, and uh, we can uh, use this machine for uh, use this data for many times, and uh, <coughs> when uh, we when we finish set up the parameter and next we can start to param uh, exposure. We press the enter and uh, wait for a second. Then the ready, ready is light up. Means now we can press the hand switch to exposure. Uh, if we find uh, some parameters is not suitable for this patient we can uh, press the exit and uh, stop to stop the ready uh, this this light is uh, will light up uh, when uh, during the exposure and uh, the fault means uh, if the machine have some problems uh, it will light up and uh, allow me you uh, next, I will introduce you the uh, test test mode of this machine. Firstly, let's back to the back to the temp, uh, the menu, and uh, we press the exit. Uh, you can find uh, this normal mode. Then we choose the test mode. Then we press enter and uh, enter again. Then we will find uh, this is the test menu of this machine. Uh, normally we, we uh, can start the test from 50 kilowatt. 50 kilowatt. And uh, every time we normally at uh, 10 kilowatt and to test this machine. For example, uh, this is the first time is 50 kilowatts and then we press enter and uh, we start exposure. And uh, if this finished and it exit finished we add uh, 10 to 60 and we exposure again until uh, the kilowatts up to 120 and our test is finished and we will find out uh, we will uh, find, ensure the quality of this machine is good or not okay this is the uh, test mode of this machine okay next I can I will introduce you about the polymeter firstly we press the and light up this uh, calimeter and these two knobs is to adjust the field of the exposure like this and, uh, and uh, also the calimeter can switch like this and uh, is the purpose is to meet uh, uh, any uh, requirements of the clinic doctors okay and also there is a ruler inside here it's used to measure the SID and the distance between the distance between the uh, screen and the, the uh, patient okay. mm.